Good day everyone, and welcome to the first episode of this new series of The Escapists. Basically a small, well not a small game, but a game in which has a pixelated style and is about taking you as a prisoner and trying to escape the boundaries of different styles of prison. So we'll hit play, we'll start a new game on the first prison you can get into which is Centerworks. We'll pick a character that we can sort of look like and we'll enter in our name. There we go. And we'll hit play. So this series will last quite a while because each prison is not exactly the easiest thing to escape from. Now, initial warning, I have played this before on the PC, but I didn't actually obviously get used to the controls of this very well. Now, I can run through the tutorial, but that still leaves me a few things. I have to remember what buttons I'm using. So this is just a brief tutorial on how we run through everything. And sort of a terrible example of how you can escape because you wouldn't actually be able to do this. We drop down by a bar of soap. Then we craft by pressing up the sock and the, the bar of soap together. We have a sock mace. We equip that in our weapon slot down in the left. Now we can start attacking Officer Lewis and take his guard uniform, which we can then equip as well. Then we can just walk on out of here, ignoring everyone else, jump in the hole, pick up the shovel, start digging in front of us, get out of the hole, and we're done. <laughs> See, it's definitely not going to be as easy as it was to do in that tutorial that is possibly just a tutorial to show you the controls because that is nothing like what you have to go through to escape the actual prisons you're in. So now you'll see the exact same scene. Max. Max, wake up! Max! Wake up, Max. You're dreaming. Screen pans out and reveals he's in a prison. Oh my god! <laughs> Dear Max, welcome to Center Burks, the most comfortable, low security prison in the country. County. Maybe said, I did say country. Never mind. Ignore that. On behalf of all the staff here, we wish you a happy and relaxing visit. Should you get bored of the complimentary cable TV we provide ourselves in many other engaging activities around the grounds, signed Warden Frank Morris. Continue. Morning roll. So here's our desk. We have a book. We can get rid of that. We only want to keep stuff that's going to be useful for us. Useful to us, not useful for us. So we'll keep the sock and the comb handy. But the rest of it, we can actually spend flushing down the loo. <laughs> so then it can never be used again. But we have to make sure to attend roll call every day to see if we're getting a shakedown. Now we see the writing of each of these items is green, which means if you have a shakedown, which these guys are about to announce who gets shook down, then that means any green, any items that have are written in green text are non-contraband, so they're okay to have in your desk when you get a shakedown. So it's Boris and Wal Walder are getting shakedowns today. But if you see the comb, if we go up to a wall and sharpen it, we now have a comb ship which is written in red, and we can equip that as our weapon. But now we're off to breakfast. Not that we're really hungry, because you can see in the top left, the green one is our stamina, so we're full. These green exclamation marks, we can take missions from people. Mike and his pals ex ex torted a candle out of me. Jeez, I can't read things very well today. 
I just want it taken away from him. Okay, well now, consider it done. I'm on the lookout for a super sock mace. A super sock mace? What is a super sock mace? Could you get me one and bring it back to me? I'm ever so grateful. Is that like two soaps in one sock or something like that? I've never heard of a super, a super um, sock mace. I've heard of just the normal sock mace. I gave Louis my... Louis... My battery a while back. I felt sick about it since. Take that off him. Okay. And then all of these like goldish, yellowy coloured bags above people's heads show that they are selling things. We can check everyone's everybody so he's got an opinion of seventy-five of us. Same with them. But now we could just walk off from breakfast because we don't need. Uh, oh actually one thing we could do is start on our escape plan straight away by grabbing some cutlery. <laughs> We need all of these forks we can get, not just a spoon. Then, now we have morning free period, so we can do whatever we want, as long as we don't get caught. So, we'll start chipping our wall. First day in, we're already trying to escape. Oh, guard, not doing anything. Basically, we can just get through here, and then, oh dear! Oh dear, we've been knocked out already. So, I believe that may mean that they fix the wall up. But I was chipping, or do they leave it? No, they leave it. Okay, that's a bit of a stupid thing to do. Here we go, I believe we do need two more forks. Right, what's this? Chris and his pals have exhorted a battery out. A lot of people want batteries. So if we press start and go down to journal and go favours. So we need remove candle from Mike. So if we could find Mike's desk. That's Walter. Wait, did Louie have one? Remove battery from Louie. Right. So it's either going to be all of these items that they say they want back will either be in the desks of other people or they'll be on their person and you have to beat them down for them. So the two files and duct tape I just nicked from him. Oh, oh dear, what am I doing? Just leave the bed sheets there, I'm just going to quickly flush this book just get on my nerves. So whose desk am I actually going in here? Oh, there we go, we found one of the batteries. There we go, we found Louie's battery from Chris. So that's 25 coins we've got there. We'll take the comb ship because we've lost our old one now. So we'll quickly sharpen that and give our weapon back. Guards also don't like you going into other people's cells. So that's another thing we need to be careful of. Oh, there you go, look. Max, get away from that cell! I'm not doing anything. I'm just robbing him of every component he has. Some of these things I don't know what to do. What do? Sorry. I won't go near anyone else's cell. I promise. Just putting stuff in mind. So, it was... Louis. We need to go find Louis and beat down Louis. Because he must be holding the battery that we need. Sang. This is the only problem, you have to walk around trying to actually find where these people are. Oh, Chris has a mission for us. At evening roll call distract. Okay, there we go. We can do a distraction at evening meal. It's lunch now. Right, so this is the best time to find people that you need. But not possibly the best time to actually do anything in terms of beatdowns. Because we'll get busted, but we could see at least what Louie looks like. Is that Louie? You now walking to the chair? No, that's Clive. Where's Louie? Which one of these is Louie? Oh, probably this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Late as always, are we? Oh, we have too many favours. 
super sock mace. Right, now we've been here, we don't have to be in we don't have to be in there anymore. So we just leave. Oh, and now we've got our laundry job. This will be interesting. So we come in, we pick up loads of dirty laundry, and stick them all in the wash. This is our job, and this will also earn us coins in the top right. You see we have 25 so far. Let me take these out, and put more in, and put the clean away. I think we might have to have that many bits of clothing. For some reason you can hide in here if you wanted to. I nearly didn't know how to get out there. <laughs> okay, no, we didn't need that many. We literally just needed one full inventory and to do that. But now... Now I've forgotten what Louie looks like again. Uh, oh, that might be Louie. I think this is Louie. On the other side of the wall. Yeah, it is. Just as any officers nearby. Yeah. Shiv him! Shiv him! <laughs> I pick people up a lot. Uh, there's the battery. But we'll also take the foil, the magazine, and the lighter. All these items will come in handy in the future. In fact, that magazine will come in handy now because we can craft item with that. But the other things will just keep the safe keeps. But let's oops, forgot how to craft there. Now let's stick these two in the crafting and make a poster which we can cover up the wall with once we break through it. We have to break through the wall first. Now it's exercise period, as you'll see in here. There we go. Strength we have 30. We have 30 in everything. Strength, speed and intelligence. Strength is upgraded obviously using the weights. Treadmill is speed. And intelligence is looking at the computer. So let's do strength. Come on, get them reps in. Each time you see a like little pop-up above his head there, like a little set of weights, that means your strength has gone up by one. Oh, two people have just been beat down. We could just take stuff off them and everyone leaves the room. Providing they don't get up in time. Here we go. I don't know why Mike's still here. What are you selling, Mike? Oh, apparently Mike's been knocked out. But there we go, we found a can. But he doesn't look knocked out to me. Ooh. I'll take that weapon. I can increase someone's opinion of me if I give them this. So we don't really need any of that, we've got all that really. Right, so we're full on favours. Ah, now we could use a lot from this guy, but if we give him... Oh, uh, hang on. If we equip the baton, and then we give him the comb shield, then his opinion of us should go up. doing it. Oh, I'm telling him who to attack. I've recruited him, but I don't actually know how you unrecruit someone. Oh, there we go. Press B. <laughs> yeah, so I am a bit slow on the controls. You'll have to bear with me on that one. But as long as the guards see you've been here, you can then snoop around at things. So we need to find sleeping pills, we need to find Henry's desk, and make a super sock piece. So let's go see if we can do any of these tasks. Boris's desk. We might as well just search for everyone's things so we can see if they have anything worth taking. No, he doesn't. Sang's desk? Have we got anything in here? Uh, no. Uh, 
and what about this desk? Oh, actually, there might have been something in the other desk that I did actually need that I completely forgot about. In Sang's desk, I believe it was. So if we take these, and we also keep taking the combs, we can make friends out of a lot of people if we just make them into comb shoots and give them to people. If we quickly get into Sang's room, talcum powder, that's what I wanted. What are you selling? That's Sang. What about this guy? Mike. Duct tape. We need duct tape, so have comb shivs. tape off him. That tape's always a handy resource to keep hold of. We've got a lot of contraband in this stash at the minute, so we need to be careful. I think we might have already searched Chris's desk. Yeah. Alright, so there was nothing in here. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Wow. Um, I'm not doing anything. This cup. Let's use that. The razor blade. Ah, here's Henry's cell. Ah! Oh god, they got annoyed at us to keep going in people's cells. Run. Oh. Ah! Give him a quick run around. Back inside the facility. God's sake. Leave me alone! Just trying to get resources off people. Stop it. Come on. He's not going to leave me alone, is he? Officer, please leave me alone. I just remembered you could go into the infirmary and apparently they don't follow you for God's sake. <laughs> I'm not doing very well here, I'm just walking into people's cells getting busted and by guards. Right, this is Henry's one, this is why I wanted to get into this one, it's like the last one I need to search as well. Right, so Henry has obviously got... Yeah, Henry's obviously got Boris's cup on him. Take this. Now, these two things we can stash in here, but these two things we can actually craft a wad of puzzle, which is used for if you beat down a guard, you can take their key, make a mold of it in there, and then if you get molten plastic, which is the lighter and obviously like a toothbrush or a comb, then you can have that sorted. If we get a search, we are in really bad trouble. <laughs> Come on. Yes, you have my attention. Please just don't shake me down. I'm getting ready to hit someone as well. Where's Henry? Yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna beat down Henry after they tell us what the shakedowns are. Come on. Please don't be me, please don't be me. Yes! There we go. Oh dear. Um, cut. Take the metal sheet. Come shift. Run! I've got literally the whole platoon of guards on us. There's <laughs> four guards coming after us just for doing that. Oh, and we are on 95 heat. Oh my god. Give up, guards. Oh no. I need to hide somewhere. Oh wait, why don't I just go back to the infirmary, like I said? Okay, they can come in the infirmary. So, Officer Torobe's pockets. He has a purple key, which I don't think is that useful. But anyway, let's quickly. Oh, 
try and avoid the guards and get back to my cell. There we go. Now we're locked in. Is there any way we can chip at this wall? Oh, if we had a bit of wood, we could have made a spade or possibly a pickaxe. I think for the minute we're just going to have to go to sleep, which saves our progress. So if we ever do something wrong the next day, we can just revert back to where we are now. So it'll be the exact same. So we still have to get a super sock mace and sleeping pills. But I think as we've done a day, we'll leave it there. So this is going to be the next series I start. So this will go on for a little while. I will probably start another series going alongside with this one. But this is just one of them that is going to be running. Thank you for watching this series. Well, it's not over, but thank you for watching this episode. We've got plenty more prisons left to go after this. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.